Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here, and in this video, we are going to talk about the one formula you need. This formula is one that I use doc after doc after doc, and if you know this one, you're gonna be set for the majority of your work, and it's called filter. What filter does is allows you to see just a part of your table data to answer a question. The filter formula has three main parts. It has what table do you wanna filter, what is the part of the table that you're interested in, and then what do you wanna do with that information? So here we've got our library inventory, and I want to be able to filter all of the books that are currently checked out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it actually inside of this callout. You can add a, a formula anywhere you want in Coda, in the canvas or in a table, but I also love to do it in the callouts just to give it like a nice bit of polish. So I'm gonna say equals, okay Coda, Part one, what is the table that I wanna use? It's the inventory table. Part two, what is the section of the table I'm interested in? And I do that by saying filter. Again, the most important formula you'll ever need, filter. Then we say what part of the table we want. We go, well, I want the inventory status is equal to checked out. All right, just grab that little one. And then, in this case, I'm interested in how many books are checked out. So I'm going to put count because that's where I say, this is just show me the number. So now I can see, cool, three books are checked out and watch what happens. If someone decides, oh, I absolutely must know what happens to Pip and Mrs. Havisham and they check out great expectations, there we go. We see that the number changes. So those formulas are always up to date. Now, that is a pretty simple filter. We just have one criteria. In this case, inventory is checked out. But the part of the table that you're interested in can be as complex as you like. So we could say inventory, inventory status is checked out and the uh, who last checked it out is equal to uh, Maria Marquis. In this case, Maria has not checked out any books, which is too bad, I really should. So you can decide how complex you want that part of the table that you wanna filter on to be. And you do that just by adding to that little middle section right here inside of the filter parentheses. So again, filter is, what's the table I wanna filter? What part of the table do I want? It can be simple or complex. And then what do you want to do with that information? You can count, you can make a bulleted list, you could make a numbered list, you could average sum any one of the formula verbs that you'd like to use. It's up to you and what question you want to answer. So now it's your turn. Try some filtering. Again, the most important formula, and I'll see you next time.